Hey everyone, it's Lorena with That's Normal, and I am here with Russell Hornsby, who plays the lead character of Lincoln, Lincoln Rhyme. Um, we were at the panel, so you saw the little sneak peek of yeah. the show, and it looks amazing. You said during the Q&A that you thought it was going to be a real challenge, mm -hmm. and that was what drew you. Can mm -hmm. you just elaborate on that? Well, you know, I think just first of all, it's the obvious challenge of the disability. <clears throat> being a, a quadriplegic uh, a Q6, 5'6", that can only move his neck uh, and, you know, partial, you know, fingers on his right hand. And having to, as an actor, having to deal with the stillness of that and still being able to convey the level uh, of intensity, the, the level uh, of uh, emotion, of, of sensitivity, of really being a three-dimensional character in that context. That, me as an actor, who comes from the theater, who's been working over 20 years in this business, that's the kind of challenge that I want, where I'm scared, or where I was nervous and scared to take it on. I want to jump in that head first. Awesome. And it is quadriplegic character. Did you work with anyone um, who is quadriplegic? Yes, I'm working with a gentleman by the name of Gary Baisley, who is a, who is a 30 year old uh, Q4 and uh, he's our medical consultant uh, on the show and um, we had a, we've, we've had just nice talks and exchanges he's told me about uh, you know how his accident and how it happened but also I was able to go to, to his physical therapy sessions and you know see his physical therapy but also meet other Q4s, Q5s and Q6s and see different ways of how um, you know, different ranges of their disability, right? And so that I can be as honest and as authentic as I possibly can and true um, to to his to Lincoln's disability. The other beautiful thing is that Gary is on set every day uh, that I work, and so he's there giving me notes. You know, if 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 a movement is out of whack, or if you know how I talk is differently. You know, I mean, we're we're dealing with uh, levels of the breath. You know how uh, a Q5 would breathe, uh, how a Q5 moves the hand and the and the uh, and the wrist. You know all of those little things, and he's there giving me notes because we want to be, as, as I said, as true and as authentic as we can, but at the same time be very responsible to you know to uh, to disabled people you know all over the world.